Rash is a common complaint at urgent care clinics and it can get uncomfortable to downright painful. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about what you need to know with Dr. Kristen Fernandez, Medical Director of Pediatrics at the Queens Medical Center, West Oahu. Good morning, Dr. Fernandez. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Very good, Ross. Now, first off, what is acute rash? Well, you know, an, an acute acute in in terms of medical terminology just refers to a condition that is usually severe and sudden in onset. It may not even last very long, but you know, uh, especially if painful or or intensely itchy, patients want to come in right away, get a diagnosis, and begin treatment. So that's really what uh, is being described with acute rash, something that's sudden, uh, severe in onset, and may change rapidly. And what are some examples of acute rash? So we have chronic conditions, so ones that are uh, long-standing, like eczema, for example, or psoriasis, that can present with flares. So those flares are acute. Uh, other examples are you know, fungal infections like ringworm, heat rash, uh, urticaria or hives, which, you know, has a lot of different triggers, um, uh, but that's often, uh, uh, that's histamine mediated, so in, in allergy. Uh, there are also a lot of contact dermatitis, so we're heading into mango season right now. Mango is sort of our local version of poison oak, po poison ivy. These are some of the common acute rashes that we see here in Hawaii. Now, most rashes are not serious or life-threatening, but how do you know when a rash could be more serious? Yeah, there's definitely a few things to remember, you know, when, when you probably should be seen by a, a physician. Um, definitely if the rash is progressing real rapid and, you know, it's covering the whole body, if it's associated with fever, or any kind of respiratory distress or facial swelling. You know, if you feel like your lips are swelling, your tongue's swelling in addition to a rash, that needs to be seen right away. If it starts to blister or, you know, you develop open sores, very painful, those rashes are important to be seen as well. And then if there's any infection, um, so signs of infection would be uh, if you have, you know, lesions that have surrounding redness or warmth, you might have some you know, discharge, it might be weepy with some pus. Those are the kinds of things that really, because it could be infected, it needs to be seen by a physician. Now, to learn more about acute rash, you can sign up for the Queen's free virtual speaking of health lecture with Dr. Fernandez. That's coming up on Thursday, April 21st from 12 to 1 p.m. To sign up, just visit www.queens.org and click on events, or you can give them a call at 808-691-7117. Thank you so much, Dr. Fernandez, for your time, and have a great morning. Mahalo, Ross. All right.